Hey guys, James here today, and this is just a really quick tutorial on how to sort of freely move objects, freely rotate them to any angle, uh, and rotate floor tiles and other things along similar lines, you know, sort of just more advanced uh, customizations of objects and sort of floor tiles and that kind of stuff. So a lot of people ask, you know, because when you place an object in game, it's going to be on the grid like this. How do you get it off the grid? All you got to do is hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, and then you can place it absolutely anywhere. It's exactly the same in The Sims 3 in this regard. So right now, I'm also using The Sims 4 camera mode, uh, which is kind of annoying. I, I, I honestly never use this Sims 4 camera uh, when I'm building because it doesn't work uh, the way I want it to. Uh, for example, you can, in, in The Sims 4 build camera, you can rotate like this, but you cannot do free rotation in the Sims 4 build mode camera, uh, or in the Sims 4 camera. So if you want to change your camera, you press Control shift tab uh, and now your camera will be in the Sims 3 camera mode. And if you hold down Alt on your keyboard, click and drag, it will now rotate freely, just like that. So again, press Control shift tab to switch back uh, between the camera modes. So now I'm back in the Sims 4 camera mode. Uh, just, uh, I don't know if you guys prefer this. I personally prefer the Sims 3 camera mode just because I'm used to it. And also, it lets you free rotate, whereas Sim 4 camera mode doesn't. So, Control shift tab to switch, hold down Alt, click and drag, and you can freely rotate, freely place anywhere on any object, which is awesome. Now, I also recently got the question on how you rotate floor tiles, because uh, this is something, again, that's been in the game since, uh, since probably The Sims 2, actually, I think. So, by default, if you just drag out uh, floor tiles like that, you just get the sort of standard stuff. But if you press the uh, period and comma keys on your keyboard, you can rotate the direction of the floor tile, which is really, really cool. So now I can have the floorboards going the other way if I want them to. I, I often utilize this a lot uh, when using when doing sort of hallways and different uh, directions of rooms, just so you can sort of get all the different kind of stuff there. Uh, and again, another, another really helpful hint is to press G on your keyboard, turn off the grid so you can see the floor uh, the floorboards quite easily. It just helps you sort of see what you're working with. So there's our beautiful floor tiles. Another common question I get asked is, uh, how do you get the diagonal floor tiles? If you press Control F on your keyboard, you get a little diagonal piece of a floor tile, which you can just place however you want. Oh, not like that though. Um, yeah, so then that's that's another frequently asked question I always get. It's how you get the sort of diagonal pieces. Uh, and, and then obviously to disable it, press Control F again, and you're back to the normal floor tile. And of course you can rotate it like that. Then you can grab your freely rotated object, rotate it like that, and it's all beautiful. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It was just a quick sort of, uh, you know, how-to on, on some of the sort of building shortcuts and maybe some little hidden things you might not have known about. I hope this was helpful, and it's really easy to do this stuff anyway, so <laughs> just make sure you keep it in mind when you're, when you're building or whatever in the future because it's so easy and it can help you out a lot. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.